Wondershare keeps improving their video editing software. Nowadays they offer two versions of Filmora. Both programs are powerful and easy to use, however they are aimed at solving very distinct problems. The first important question most of you would like to get answered is, which Filmora video editor is the best? The second question is, what is the difference between Filmora 9 and Filmora Pro? In this video we are going to compare both video editors and try to provide exhaustive information about their main differences. Actually, at the end of 2020, Wondershare has published a major update to Filmora 9. At the moment a beginner-friendly version of Filmora is called Filmora X or Filmora 10. Since the new version offers a set of additional features, I've decided not to compare Filmora Pro against an outdated Filmora 9. Instead, in this video, we are going to be discussing the main differences between Filmora 10 and Filmora Pro. I hope this makes sense. For those of you who are still interested in the Filmora Pro vs Filmora 9 comparison, I recommend checking my article via the link in the description. Besides that article, you may also find it helpful to watch a full review of Filmora 10, as well as a review of an older Filmora 9. Both can be found on my channel. By the way, if after watching this video you are planning to buy Filmora, you can get a small but nice 10% discount when using my link in the description below. When doing so, you are also going to support my channel. I do appreciate that. Alright, let's begin with a brief introduction of what Filmora video editing software is and what it is capable of. This software allows you to create video clips of any complexity and length. The outcome looks comparable to something you can create with a much more sophisticated and expensive tool. The main highlights of Filmora are It's easy to use. It includes lots of advanced effects and transitions. It provides you with a huge library of royalty-free media clips, music, sounds, overlays, etc. Filmora is well optimized and can run smoothly on most computers. It costs less than $200. More specifically, it's $150 for a Pro Edition and just $70 for Filmora 10. It has a sleek and modern UI. The rendering is extremely fast with Filmora. It includes a lot of tutorials and video lessons. And it has a built-in screen recorder. In contrast to other beginner-friendly video editing software, Filmora aims for a much broader audience. It works equally well for both amateurs and professional video makers. You won't regret choosing Filmora in case you are aiming to become a pro and are looking for a convenient tool for your experiments. From the very beginning, you are getting your hands dirty with some of the most powerful tools that make it possible for you to create a stunning video project. Filmora may feel a little bit harder to grasp compared to other similar software like Camtasia or Movavi. But after 5-10 to 10 minutes of working with Filmora, you are going to be positively surprised with its potential. As soon as you find out that you can work with more than 100 audio and video tracks in a single project, along with all the killing effects and transitions, it's going to be unlikely for you to want to change Filmora to something else. Having said that, keep in mind, depending on what kind of video tasks you want to accomplish, you'd need to choose a specific Filmora version that works best for your purposes. That's why we're now going to compare Filmora Pro and Filmora 10 side by side. Filmora Pro requires some time spent to learn how to use it, but it comes with much more features for advanced video production. Filmora 10, in contrast, is very easy to use with intuitive, beginner-friendly UI but with fewer features under the hood. Filmora Pro offers detailed settings for every effect. Filmora 10, on the other hand, comes with just the basic settings exposed. Money-wise, Filmora Pro lags behind the Filmora 10, by costing significantly more. Filmora Pro is ahead of Filmora 10 by offering an unlimited number of tracks per project. Filmora 10, in turn, offers just a maximum of 100 tracks. Both Filmora 10 and Pro come with an impressive selection of effects, media elements, transitions, titles, etc. Filmora Pro allows for a lot of customizations of the user interface. Similar to famous professional video editing software like Adobe Premiere Pro, Filmora Pro provides customizable workspaces. This is something where Filmora 10 definitely lags behind its older brother. In terms of color correction capabilities, Filmora Pro is obviously ahead of Filmora 10. 
3D LUT feature is fortunately included in both Filmora versions. The same is true for the chroma key feature. The automatic audio synchronization feature or audio ducking was previously only available in Filmora Pro. Starting from version 10, it is also included in the basic Filmora edition. One nice thing that is missing from Filmora 10 but is available in Filmora Pro is the warp and distort effect. Speaking of royalty-free media, Filmora 10 offers a good selection of those, while Filmora Pro does not offer anything like that. Alright, now as we have an idea of the main differences between Filmora 10 and Filmora Pro, let's have a look at how different the user interface for both programs is. On the left hand side, you can observe how the Filmora 10 looks like, on the right hand side is Filmora Pro. The overall design and color theme of both video editors looks pretty much identical, however you can easily notice that Filmora 10 on the left looks much more intuitive and less overloaded. Filmora Pro expects you to know about video editing in general and more specifically it is a lot like Adobe Premiere Pro. You can see all these different areas of a workspace like the trimmer, the viewer, the editor, the media bin, etc. Expect to spend some time learning what each of these widgets is used for and how to interact with them. Filmora 10, in contrast, directly presents you with the components required to quickly and efficiently create your very first video project. There are only three widgets that you need to interact with. The first one combines the media bin and all the effects and sample media elements. The second one is the actual timeline where you can place your media and effects. And the last widget is the preview window for both the media bin and timeline contents. In fact, you don't even have to go deep into all those menus as you do with Filmora Pro. All the effects, titles, transitions and media are put in front of you as soon as you launch Filmora 10. Filmora Pro, in turn, provides you with much more tools, offers a much wider selection of effects and transitions, including the advanced ones that are not available in Filmora 10. You can also control each of the mentioned components with much more detail. The price to pay is you'd have to spend more time learning how to use all these advanced tools. Not to mention the higher cost of this video editor. Awesome! We keep covering different aspects of both the Mora Pro and 10, and we've discovered the main differences in features and the user interface. Now it's time to dive deeper into both video editor and see what are the main features of each of them. Let's start with Filmora 10. Here's what you're getting. Motion tracking, keyframing animations, audio ducking, keyboard shortcuts editor, color match, silence detection, lots of sample videos, sounds, songs and backgrounds, a huge set of effects, transitions, titles, split screen templates and Filmora elements. Film stock effects store up to 100 audio and video tracks, chroma key, color correction, video stabilization, screen recorder, 3D LUT, crop and zoom, lens correction, auto enhance. Filmora 10 can be truly considered the best entry-level video editor money can buy. You're not getting all this fancy stuff offered by Vegas Pro, Adobe Premiere Pro and other professional software. But when compared to other similar video editors, Filmora 10 is way ahead of all its rivals. You can easily create a stylish video when applying all these advanced effects in a simple and efficient manner. No prior video editing experience is required whatsoever. It is worth noting the presence of 3D LUT that allows you to apply any color scheme that you wish. You can extend the list of LUT presets by downloading and importing various cube files that enrich your creativity. Combined with a color match, it is possible to achieve incredible results with this simple video editing program. Motion tracking is another crazy feature of Filmora 10. It provides the ability to attach a static or animated media element to any object that's inside the video clip. You're free to choose your combination to achieve desired results that look absolutely stunning. Keyframing animations is one more useful tool that you must be aware of. No matter what your final goal is, be it a slideshow or a short action movie, you will be able to add more dynamics to any type of project. With the price of less than $70, eye-catching user interface, notably rich set of features and easy-to-use controls, 
Filmora 10 is your choice if you're not looking for a pro-level tool that costs a lot of money, but still you prefer to have a hand-picked set of advanced features under your belt. Now it's time to move on and take a closer look at Filmora Pro. The main features of this edition are the following. Automatic color correction, unlimited tracks, motion graphics animation, lots of customizations, multiple workspaces similar to Adobe Premiere Pro, motion tracking, automatic audio synchronization, warp and distort, a rich selection of audio effects, audio mixer, color wheels, 360 video effects, scopes tool for easy color balance control of the output, masking, advanced editing modes, you can switch between slip editing, slide editing, rate stretching and ripple editing, detailed color correction tools aimed at pros, effects and transitions that can be precisely fine-tuned, different blending options including dissolve, divide, add, subtract, etc. Last but not least, you're getting all the features from Filmora 10. It would take another long video if I try to describe each and every feature available in Filmora Pro. There is just so much stuff in this video editor. From the very beginning, when you first launch Filmora Pro, you can observe how advanced this software is. It feels a lot like much more expensive competitor Adobe Premiere Pro. UI layout, controls, menus and widgets all remind the Adobe Premiere Pro. Having said that, Filmora Pro is still relatively easy to get started with. You'll just need to try and create your first simple project and then you can move forward with learning all of its capabilities. Fortunately, it includes a lot of video lessons to help you get started. Filmora Pro allows for a lot of customization of how the UI lays out. You can freely move and reposition every widget. Keyboard shortcuts are also customizable. Compared to Filmora 10, the Pro version offers a much wider selection of effects and transitions, including a huge set of those not available in Filmora 10. All the effects are sorted by category to make it easier for you to find the desired effect. Every effect comes with multiple properties that you can adjust. If you feel like you need more effects, you can import them via WFPPR files. Filmora Pro does not include sample videos or music like Filmora 10. This may make you sad, but obviously it is expected from professional video editing software. You will have to import your own media or download and import some from the internet. If you're looking for a capable professional video editing program, but your budget is limited to something around $150 and you want an editor that's both rich with features but has a good balance towards the ease of use, Filmora Pro is most likely something that you need. It is aimed at an advanced level of video editing experience and does not provide a lot of ready-to-use templates like Filmora 10. But Filmora Pro allows you to achieve much more and you can easily outpace its entry-level counterpart, as well as stay on part with famous video editing guides like Vegas Pro, Adobe Premiere Pro and others. Alright folks, this is basically it about the main differences between Filmora 10 and Filmora Pro. If you're interested to read the same information in the text form, feel free to visit my article about Filmora Pro vs Filmora 9. It's an older comparison that I am soon going to update to describe the Filmora 10. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.